Hey bros, in this video, Busby Toys sent us one of their Adventure Force crossbow blasters for free. And Robert Andre unboxes, reviews, and uses it against a dinosaur. Be sure to subscribe to show that you are a true Nerf fan and a member of our happy family. And don't forget, the shout outs are at the end of the video. What's up guys, today we're gonna to be unboxing and reviewing the Adventure Force crossbow. Here's the front of the box. Here's the back, and let's open it. So along with the gun, we get this little handle we have to put on. Two, two of these magazines that hold 10 rounds. We have this little red dot sight here, and 20 long distance darts, which is pretty cool. So first thing to do is you need to actually put the gun together, which is simple by sliding this grip on. Like, that way, yeah. There you go. And now the gun is put together. Basically, this is a spring-powered gun made to look like a crossbow. So we have these two crossbow arms here with the elastic band. And we can cock it back like this with this handle on top. And then forward, and then we can shoot. Which is pretty cool. There's a magazine release down here in the form of a button. There's a little rail on top here, which I'm guessing is where this red dot sight goes. Yeah, I like that. So that's really all for the gun. So the main part of this is the red dot sight, which takes two AA batteries, and it doesn't come with any, so you have to have some batteries. And you're also gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver, so you can unscrew this screw in the front, pull out the tray, and put your batteries in. So uh, let me get that. All right, so you're gonna take your screwdriver and turn the screw in the front counterclockwise to loosen it. Pull off this cap. And you're gonna put your two batteries in, the two double A's. And you're gonna put the cap back on. And you're gonna tighten it. There we go. And now there's a button on the right side, and yeah, there we go, the red dot's on. Okay, so how this works is there's a clear piece of plastic in the front. In the back, there's a little light that shines a laser onto the plastic. You should be able to see like a glowing, it might be hard to see. Just slide, you just slide it on like this, it's pretty simple. So how this works is you take these darts and you load them like a regular Nerf gun in the magazine one by one. Then you take this handle and you pull it all the way back. You put the magazine in and it doesn't actually go in very far. So if you, like, look, it goes in this much. So that's all you need to do. Then push the handle forward and then you can shoot. And then you cock it again and shoot. And if you want to take the magazine out, you pull it back and you push this little button here and pull the magazine out. All right, so let's do a chrono test. Yes, it worked. Let's see you battle this dinosaur, Nerf Patrol. So we're gonna be chronoing it now. Um, if you're wondering what this chrono is, it's an Ace Tech, I think. Ace Tech chronograph. We have a video on it if you wanna check it out. Uh, it's meant to be an airsoft chronograph, but it works for Nerf just fine. Um, if you wanna chrono this yourself, the settings for the dart is a weight of one gram and a width of 12.7 millimeters. So, Do some testing. All right. Okay. 163 FPS, but I think that's kind of high. That doesn't seem right. One oh six. That seems better. One twenty nine. 242, which is not right. 89. 
91. Some of these Krillin readings I know are not right, like 240. But from what I got, I got a 90, 80, another, I got a couple 90s, I got an 80, I get a 120. Okay, the average was about 120, but that was brought up because of the 200. So from what I'm looking here, it seems like most of these ones that were accurate readings were around 90. So I'm assuming around 90 FPS on average for this. What was that? Velociraptor? First there's zombies and now there's dinosaurs? What's going on with this place? Let me see how well this works. I don't think this is doing anything. He's up there on the balcony. Can't you see him? Oh no, he's coming. Get him, you stupid dinosaur! Uh-oh, he heard me, here he comes! Gotta get him! I told you to chase him, not me. Now I had to blast you, you stupid dinosaur. And the Nerf Patrol got away. Great. I guess she left. Okay. Now let's do some shooting tests. First we're gonna test the accuracy by shooting this target. Now we're going to shoot it in first person. Alright, now I'm going to shoot Jackson so you can get an idea of how this would work in a nerf war because I'm shooting like a life-size target. Now we're going to shoot it in first person. All right, here's what it would be like to get shot with this. So here are my final thoughts. At first, I really didn't like this because I barely was hitting it with the accuracy test. It was partly because of me probably not aiming very well, um, but it just didn't seem very consistent. But whenever I started shooting Jackson, it was actually hitting most of the time pretty well. So this gun is not the greatest I've ever seen. The accuracy is not It's like, okay. But if I was hitting Jackson every single time, I think I hit him literally every time. So it would probably work really fine in a Nerf War. 
And this red dot sight, does it work? It's kind of a complicated answer because it's gonna be different at every distance. At the distance I was at, I had to aim the sight kind of low. At some distance, it might distances it might be spot on. If you're too far away, you might have to aim kind of high. But overall it works, the red dot sight works pretty well and it's actually really cool. With the gun itself, it never jammed a single time, which is pretty good. And basically, if you wanna get this gun to like, be super accurate, then no, because it's not. But if you're just gonna be shooting somebody in a Nerf war, it'll work more than fine. It's more than accurate to do that. Also, it, it's pretty cool how it looks like a crossbow and the elastic band comes forward while you shoot it. So overall, I definitely rate this as a pretty good gun. All right, guys, shout out time. The first shout out goes to Rancher Kid. The next shout out goes to Dying in the Unknown. The next shout out goes to Shafali Kana. The next shout out goes to Jonathan Bills. The next shout out goes to Icefire365. The next shout out goes to Hector Dominguez. The next shout out goes to Albert Duran. The next shout out goes to Gucci Man. The next shout out goes to Bindu Pradeep. The next shout out goes to Marshmallow Chomper. The next shout out goes to John Backus. The next shout out goes to Matthew Ramsden. The next shout out goes to TJ King XXYT. The next shout out goes to Sammy Moses. The next shout out goes to Burhan Ali. The next shout out goes to Jed Turner. The next shout out goes to Neville Hammond. The next shout out goes to Raven Cool It Vlogs. The next shout out goes to Stick Stick Darren. The next shout out goes to Jordan Days. The next shout out goes to Merpati Grafika HP. The next shout out goes to Tong Zhang. The next shout out goes to Jerry Beerns. The next shout out goes to Operator Sloth. The next shout out goes to Talan Sturdivan. The next shout out goes to Jamie Entertainment. The next shout out goes to Jaden Barajas. The next shout out goes to Night Wolf Games. The next shout out goes to Jaylan Viegas. The next shout out goes to MND World. The next shout out goes to John Joshua Alvaro. The next shout out goes to Vina Kim. The next shout out goes to American Dad Lover. The next shout out goes to Iman Syed. The next shout out goes to Tracy Lewis. Bros, if you want a shout out, then go to the community tab on our channel and go to the most recent post and type, I want to shout out. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell. Be happy, peace out.